when and where they arrested the alleged rebels remains a mystery and according to the army spokesman Colonel Felix Kolaije, he cannot reveal any details citing security reasons but notes that the individuals were attempting to be recruited when they were arrested. Um, that were trying to recruit people to start uh, rebellion across the country. Uh, it's true, they are there and very soon they will be arraigned in the court. However, the decisions for them to be produced in court within the 24 hours as stipulated in the constitution may not be possible due to the fact that the investigations are still going on. But some analysts believe this could be a ploy by government to crack down on the opposition. And for government to crack down on these rallies, they need an excuse. They will have to find a way of stopping these campaigns by turning these politicians into rebels. Yes, that's the only explanation. I find it a, a bit far-fetched for anyone to say this is an attempt to intimidate the opposition. Not at all. They also argue that for years the government has never won any treason case. Actually, this government has tried more than 300 people with treason since 1987. It has not won a single case. So because they just act on rumors. In my opinion, the government should find a more civil way of, of managing the opposition. Meanwhile, for a number of legislators in parliament are divided with mixed reactions regarding the forming of this alleged rebel group. I hundred percent of them. Let them wait for 2016. We go back to elections. If they win, they win. And I tell you, for me personally, if I lose an election, I don't need to go to the bush. So whoever is doing this should be caught and executed. I call upon who, that person who is living in the goodwill of ignorance to come and join the race. So if they're interested in power, we want to appeal to them, come 2016, let them contest in various positions. Maurice Achol, NTV.